Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you like the content, hit the subscribe button. Leave a like down below. Today we're going to try to beat Great Ape Vegeta. Now, a lot of you have been having trouble with this, myself included. So let's get to it. Let's let's get in here. Okay, let's do this thing. There'll probably be a lot of button clicking. I'm going to try to keep the controller away from the mic here. I might mute it during the fight. <laughs> but yeah, a lot of us are having trouble with this fight. been a hard-fought battle, but summoning his last ounce of strength, Goku manages to counter Vegeta's attack. I'm gonna light up the green screen here real quick. Ah, there we go. Okay, a little, eh, a little better. There, okay. Though Vegeta was hit, Goku can still sense a trace of his key remaining. Yajirori emerges from out of nowhere. Sure enough, Vegeta rises once more, ready to challenge Goku again. Goku believes his only chance for victory is to use a spirit bomb. However, Vegeta has secret technique known only to Saiyans up his sleeve. This blew my mind when I first saw this as a kid. I'm like... Even though Goku turned into a great ape in the original... I saw this before I saw the original, so I'm like, did you turn into a giant? Did you feel that? There's a tremendous energy and it's swelling up even bigger. I don't think it's my dad's energy we're sensing, is it? Something's wrong. I'm going back there. Go on, hold up. I'm going to! Wait! <laughs> Don't blink, Kakarot! These will be your final moments before <laughs> I crush you! He's only killed me like 20 <laughs> times. In my mind? He turned into a giant monkey! <laughs> this is crazy! How do I fight this thing? <laughs> Since when <laughs> With no other options left, Goku decides to use the technique King Kai taught him. Only choice now is to gather energy from all over the earth and make a spirit bomb. Yeah, let's see if we can beat this. Oh crap, right off the bat, I can't even do it. After all this time, I get it. The monster killed Grandpa. And the one that destroyed the How did he grab me? I was Oh. Oh, crap. I owe this to you, Grimms. I need to beat this guy. No matter what. My guess is that you keep your distance. Oh, come on. I was going sideways. If I die, I'll see you in the next world. Oh, crap. At least I'll get to apologize to you. Oh. Oh, come on, I was on the ground. I think the only way to beat him is to use range attacks and try to stay away from him. Holy crap, but he doesn't like you when you do that. Oh, jeez, yeah, he doesn't let you stay away. Bounced off him? Come on! Oh. Yeah, I'm done. Alright, we're gonna retry because otherwise you have to watch this huge cutscene every time you die. And it, oh. I remember this in the original. He was really hard to beat in the original game, too. Oh, 
son of a bitch. L let me do something. Keep spamming this like he does. See if I can do that. Oh, he, how did he dodge it? Come on! Get away! Get away! Dodging it. Like. Oh crap. If I have to go KO Ken, let's see here. Would you let me do something? Son of a bitch! Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Your moves don't even phase him at all. It's like how he, right off the bat he's like, bleh, bleh. I'm like, see. No. After all this time, I get it. The monster killed Grandpa, and the one that destroyed the tournament arena. All, all of that was, was me. I owe this to you, Grimms. I need to beat this guy, no matter what. I'll have to use every ounce of my energy for the tiniest chance at victory. If I die, I'll see you in the next world. At least I'll get to apologize to you. Jeez. I'm like speechless here because this is ridiculous. He blocks everything. Oh, I've made him go flying. All right, there we go. Oh, come on. Block it at least. Oh, maybe it's a solar flare. Emma. Okay, like in the cartoon. Okay, or anime. I'm doing a lot better this time than I did last time. Why is it not hitting? Oh, okay. It was, it was starting to fill up. Oh, you son of a mother. Oh. <laughs> I felt like I almost... I was, get, I was getting there. Alright. I think I... I think I might have a technique here. Okay, would you let me... Would you let me get up? Oh. Holding back the F word a lot here because this is friggin' insane. I'll see you in the next world. At least I'll get to a 
apologize to you. Yeah. Ah, okay. You can oh. <laughs> he teleports behind you. Not close enough. I'm just trying to stay alive now. Oh. minutes and I'm still getting my ass whooped. Looking right at me. Okay, now it's not working. His grab. Every ounce of my energy for the tiniest chance at victory. If I die, I'll see you in the next one. At least I'll get to apologize to you. Oh, how can someone so? They dodge that. Punch the son of a bitch. Then it won't let you block, and now it'll only pause because he killed me. Hmm. Not sure why this is so. <sighs> yeah, it was it was hard like this. Even reducing difficulty doesn't do anything, because I've tried that already. I mean, before it even loads, he's trying to kill you. You know what I'm saying? I get it. The monster that killed Grandpa. And the one that destroyed the tournament arena. All, all of that was... Was me? I owe this to you, Grimps. Tiny 
last chance at victory. If I die, I'll see you in the next world. At least I'll get to apologize to you. It just automatically overpowers me. That's nice. Well, here we go. Maybe that's how you beat him. Ah, there we go. I heard him out quite a bit. Okay. We're learning. Oh, crap. See, he's too close. Would you back off? Jesus. So that might be the key. Motherfucker. Would you let me do something? Holy crap, I can't even block when he does that. And how is all my stuff going? <clears throat> Well, we might have a way to beat him now, so let's keep trying here before I break to my controller. <laughs> so if you can time it just right and win those clashes... Best we've done so far. Come on, do the thing. Oh, crap. Ooh, we're getting there. We're getting there. I had to cheese him, but it's working. He has no health. What the hell is going on? Yes! I beat him! Mm. 19 minutes! Suck it! DX style! Mm. Even on lower difficulty, it was a pain. I'm so happy I recorded this because this was an experience. Holy crap. Wow. Alright, let's see the aftermath. And then we'll end the video. <laughs> I did it. Just had to lower the difficulty like a loser. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, so that is the tactic to beat him. Don't get up and close and personal or he will destroy you. Uh, I had to cheese the Kamehameha as you saw, and that's how you beat him. Man. Okay, I think I put enough distance between us. Okay. You get sorry, I'm like I'm shocked I beat him. Alright. There better not be a part two. <laughs> there, 
you know, Yajirobe basically you know? saved the Earth because he cuts his tail off. Yep. Man, that looks awesome. I gotta buy another light because this right here is annoying me. <laughs> this is the end of the line, Kakarot. Even if you do manage to come back to life, this miserable planet won't be around anymore. I whooped your ass. I whooped your well. After like 20 tries. <laughs> Consider that a little farewell present. <laughs> I don't have the strength to lift a finger. Oh, you shot his eye out. Do what you're gonna do to me, alright? Take your best shot. <laughs> Damn you, Kakarot! How dare you leave a scar on my beautiful face! That looks so terrifying. <laughs> With it talking. said on this kid. <laughs> oh god, I have to fight him as little kid Gohan? Okay, good. Because I was going to say, that wouldn't that be Gohan's story? <laughs> Alright, Yadrobi, who has been waiting for the right moment to attack, leaps out of slices off Great Ape Vegeta's tail. He literally saved all their asses. It was awesome. Vegeta returns to his regular form. However, Goku remains incapacitated, and neither Krillin nor Gohan stand a chance against even a weakened Vegeta. Calling Krillin to his side, Goku entrusts him with the spirit bomb. All that's left is to wait for the opening to use it. This is it. This must be the spirit bomb. It's all up to you now. And if I remember correctly, the reason why the spirit bomb didn't kill him was because he wasn't 100% evil. What the heck are you doing just standing there? You gonna throw the dang thing or what? <laughs> huh? Eh? And he misses. I remember that. I was like, what? He just jumps over it. <laughs> and since Gohan is good, it bounces off of him. It won't hurt you. Yeah, go on, turn into an ape. I forgot about that. As Vegeta survives the spirit bomb. Caught by the light of Vegeta's small, false moon, Gohan transforms into a great ape and proceeds to corner him. Krillin is just about to finish Vegeta off once and for all when Goku stops him, telling him to let him go. Having narrowly escaped death, Vegeta departs Earth. It's a good thing they did that too, because he held off Frieza and Frieza's forces long enough for Goku to show up. Now aware of the existence of Planet Namek, Krillin, Gohan, and Bulma believe it may hold a new set of Dragon Balls. As Goku needs more time to recuperate, the three set off for Planet Namek without him. Oh. Alright, we did it. I beat them. Hopefully they have an update on day one so it's not as difficult. Even on, you saw, even on the easier difficulty... He just doesn't let up. So the tactic, keep away from him. Spam the beam attacks. Uh, as you saw, seemed to work for me if I, I got lucky. Uh, and always, as always, thank you for watching and stay frosty. I'll see you guys in the next one. Delicious.